Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, we are now on episode four. Um, so thank you for watching, um, if you are. Uh, we are um, Today we are looking at scoreboards. Um, and I should have time to throw in tags at the end as well, because they go, they go handy together. Um, so we get, get cracking. Um, so first of all, we're going to look at, there's two, uh, um, two main uh, routes you can take with the scoreboard command. You can do objectives or players, so we're going to start off with objectives. Um, and first we can look at add, so how to add a scoreboard. So um, this can be done in command box, but I'm doing it in chat because you're most likely going to be doing it in chat anyway, because this is just setting up your scoreboard. Um, so we'll just do scoreboard. Um, you can see all the syntax is there. We're just going to look at the objective ones. Um, so with scoreboards with bedrock, we only have one objective. It's called dummy. Um, and it's pretty much for interacting with commands. So it's adding and removing um, scores um, using commands, not using um, player, player or game based events like you have in Java. Uh, with deaths and kills and XP and all the fun stuff they can do. Uh, that's why we're a little bit more creative at doing kill and death counts if you have a look at my other videos if you want to do one um, to, to get the same. Hopefully we get the same objectives eventually but um, that would be a dream. Uh, so we're going to just add a scoreboard. Um, so it does come up with a suggestion of my uh, previous ones that are currently um, on this world but I'm just going to add a new one. Just going to call it new and you have to specify dummy um, I'm just going to do that for now so this this will display as new um, exactly how I've written it there you can add a display name which I'll do in a second um, so that has created a new objective called new um, moving on to remove you just do the same scoreboard objectives remove and even gives you the list of the ones you have so I'm going to tab down to new um, and then just execute it that's now removed it um, so just to show you the add again you can uh, do add new dummy and then you might want to display it as something else um, so you can just type here um, but you might want to display it with a little bit more fancy maybe color um, maybe some spaces so uh, you would put that in quotations um, I'm going to do an alt code if I remember it. There we go. Let's do a red one. Um, so that's the colour coded. If you don't know, I'm, I won't talk about that here. Um, you can Google that. Um, let's just do my score. So this isn't the name of the objective, this is just the display name, how it will display, which you'll see in a second. Um, so if I execute that, we've now and a new objective and um, you can list your objectives if you want to see what you've got um, so that be scoreboard objectives uh, list and it shows them all there um, you can uh, press enter look at your chat history um, and it shows four objectives the death count that's just that's got a display name is deaths my death tracker that, hasn't got a display name so it just displays as it's called uh, the one I've just added new but displays as my score um, and then the test which is the one I was using for um, in my previous video um, and that's just displays as the same as what I, I set it up as um, now if there's three ways you can set display um, you can set the display in the sidebar which would be at the side of your screen um, list which would be um, here there'll be a name and I'll, I'll show you both of them and then um, below above that below name sorry so above your head so you do scoreboard objectives set display and we'll do sidebar first and you choose which objectives you want to display and you can choose whether it's ascending or descending um, or you I think it defaults to ascending um, the highest first basically so, so I'm going to execute that you can see my score will go is to the right there um, and then there's, there's no one on the scoreboard yet we'll get to that with the players um, but that's set there 
if we do the same with list um, and choose the um, choose the objective you see my score is here and if I had a score it would be down here uh, showing what score I had um, so that can be handy to show different types of scores um, for different things like for um, for example I've got a, um, a city economy RPG I was building um, the money system was on the sidebar um, but we had a bus ticket system that you can buy bus tickets to get the bus um, and that was displayed here just so you can keep track of how many bus tickets you've got uh, because you can buy in bulk but um, if you want to remove a display um, you just simply um, do the objective set display which display you want to um, remove and just execute it without giving it a name and that removes it there if I do it with um, list that should remove it from here you see so um, it's the same command to set uh, for your uh, below name I'm not going to set it up you just choose your objective just like the sidebar because um, I can't show you because you can't see your own score you can only see other people's score so um, I'm not sure what people prefer to use that for um, but it's handy so we've got that on the sidebar and um, so now that's all the ones with the uh, objectives and all your setup we can move on to adding and removing and um, interacting with the player's score um, so here's an ad so if I press the button I get given a score of one um, that's the, the command there score will play as ads I chose at P as the selector um, you can use arguments as well so revert back to my previous episode um, you can start using arguments to define your uh, selector then your scoreboard objective which in this case is new and then how much you want to add is one there then remove so this one is pretty much exactly the same command just changing from add to remove so your scoreboard players remove your target selector your target your victim uh, your objective and then the value so if I remove that I'll be put down to zero um, to add someone to a score a scoreboard if they're not previously on it um, and you want them to be there but then start at interacting then you want to give them a score of zero because then that puts them on the scoreboard um, and uh, and they haven't got a score essentially well they have got a score it's zero but if it's a currency then of course it's zero depends what you're using it for and um, you can use the set so the same sort of thing scoreboard players set your target your objective and your value and um, so this will set this will override any score um, that the player has and it will set them so I've got that set to 10 so that set me to 10 um, that's pretty self-explanatory hopefully then random so same sort of um, setup except the end so you've got scoreboard players uh, random your target your objective um, you could leave this blank you could just have just a random number between the mi minimum which is about 2.1 billion and maximum well minus 2.1 billion and then the maximum being 2.1 billion um, it's not exactly that there's some other numbers in there um, it show it's, I think it's on the wiki um, or you can specify the minimum or, um, and specify the maximum so that would give me a random score between 1 and 10 including um, in fact I'm just gonna um, put my score to 0 so we can see um, set at self new 0 so that set me to 0 and if I do this it will give me a random score so I got 90 set new for Tom H. Magic to 90 um, then we have test so test is uh, so you're able to test someone's score so I've got between 1 and 100 and if I press that it will now say score 90 is in the range of 1 to 100 um, it can be useful for some things just a test for the score um, personally I don't really use it um, because even if I'm setting up a shop system um, I would skip the test and go straight into using the target selector argument for score 
um, and remove the, um, for example, say if I had a, a shop system that was 10, a value of 10, and I wanted to remove, I would do scoreboard players, um, remove at P, um, not quite at P, you have to get a bit more defined than that because you don't, at P will be from the whole world with this target selected, but I won't go too into detail. Scores equals new, sorry, new equals 10 plus. Then I want to remove new 10. So that will remove 10 for me because I've got more than 10 on my score. Um, so I go straight into that when I do my, um, when my shop systems. Um, there's one more which I haven't put down in the command block, um, and that's reset. So scoreboard players, uh, reset, then your target. So I'm just going to do at self, um, your objective, and then execute it. So what this will do is completely remove them from the score. Um, so it doesn't put them to zero, it's completely, it removes their score and removes them. So as you can see, I'm no longer on the scoreboard. Um, there's one more which is objectives, but before that I'm going to get into fake players. Um, you, can, you can give scores to entities, you can give scores to players. Um, so entities including things like items and um, arrows and stuff like that. Um, but I'm going to talk about fake players. You can't, you can test, use the test command with fake players, but you can't execute or use a target selector for a fake player. Um, but can be handy to, um, you might see some people with servers, they have like just information on a scoreboard, so they do it with fake players. Um, so it's using the add, um, the players add command, um, but rather than using a selector, you can just start typing fake player. Um, you can, if it's all one word, then you would just do one word, but you can use quotation, so I'm just going to call it um, player one. Where, one thing to remember is if you're interacting with this fake player, so you are either adding, removing, setting, um, testing for their score, um, then um, then you would make sure you've got the exact name as I'm typing it out now in your add, remove test for your other command that you're interacting with it so it goes on the exact so if you if you start using the color codes you've got to make sure you use them in your commands as well um, I hope that makes sense I'm just going to add them and give them um, 10 so they're now on the scoreboard there and 10 with 10 what I personally like to do with fake players I'm just going to reset this one um, and add it again Reset and add it with a space here. This is why I use quotations because it just looks a little bit more neater on the scoreboard there because you've got the space, um, especially where I've got the player one. Um, you've also got um, a list which I uh, almost forgot to do. So scoreboard players list. You can list all or list at self, um, and that will show what scores that that player. If you've got multiple players, if you use that at all, then it would be individual players there, what scoreboard they're on, and their score. So I'm not on the new one because I reset myself, but I'm on test um, from yesterday, and I'm on the death tracker scoreboard because that's something I've got running over there for my death count. Um, but I'm going to add one more fake player, um, so just using, I'm going to add them as zero, I'm just going to call it player two, with the quotations, and then add them there. So that's your player two. Um, your operation, so this is like mathematical equations, so I'm not going to get too into detail with every single equation because it's maths, um, and I don't fancy teaching you maths. Um, so I've used the fake players because I'm on my own. So score players operation, and um, then you would have your target. So I'm going to ch choose. Um, so you can with with, um, with the operation, it's 
it's you can either transfer not transfer scores but um, best way to explain it is interact with another player's score or your own score you can do from yourself to yourself um, but transferring scores from different scores and um, if you look at my video for removing players offline that uses the operation because it's um, and a lot of um, servers if you're building something that uses currency you're going to want something that holds the score for your money and the other one that displays it and if you watch the remove player offline video then um, you'll understand kind of how that means um, but I'm going to do player one one with a space you're going to remember I've got to do it exactly new um, and they're all your different um, equations um, I'm just going to use equals so this is kind of making um, actually I'm going to do player 2 because the player 1 has the score so player 2 so their score on the new scoreboard equals to player 1 1 on the new scoreboard so what that's going to do is going to make player 2 score the same as player 1's so when I execute that I did it the wrong way around player 1 has no scores recorded player ah there we go this is why I said you need exactly the same thought I did something wrong then there we go player 2 is now set to 10 so it's really vital when interacting with um, with fake players to get it exactly how you set it up. So I left out this space, um, space here, which meant it didn't recognise there wasn't a uh, a player called player one with no space. So and if I did that again, it sets it um, to ten. So it was already ten. So that's the scoreboard. Um, I'm going to quickly chuck in. Um, it was longer than I thought, but tag will just take two seconds. Um, so with tag you can tag, you can add, you can remove and you can list um, so they're very handy, I've got uh, two creepers here as well which I'll be using um, but I can tag your target, so I'm just going to choose that self add, um, oh no, tag test and I've been given the tag of tag test I can remove it using the same command but just changing add to remove so that's removed it from me and then you can list it so I could um, tag itself list and it lists the tags I'm on there on the top left so there's some um, tags I was using yesterday for the um, target selectors so that can be handy um, I was going to quickly show you uh, a good use of tags. So I'm going to tag all entities type equals creeper. I was going to do count equals one so I can only get one of them. So if you watched my previous video, if you have, you'll understand what I'm doing here. Add kill. There we go. So one, I don't know which one because I just did it as it's probably this one because I think he was the closest at the time. Um, so going back to my previous video, you can then use those tags um, kill all the entities with the tag equals kill and it'll kill one of the creepers oh no I was wrong it was the right one but there we go I think and um, that's about it for today um, hopefully again sorry for, for skipping through but um, I don't want to linger on too much um, you've got the wiki um, so go to scoreboards and it's got a list of the objectives and you then click here to look at everything this can be a bit confusing because this is really mixed with Java stuff and um, so dig Minecraft would probably be my recommendation and just click on how to use the scoreboard command and it goes through all the different ones with examples for your um, for your platform which is pretty much the same for all bedrock platforms um, so hopefully that has increased your understanding in scoreboards. Any questions, please comment below. Um, I'm trying to get through every comment. So um, thank you very much for watching. I won't drag this on any longer.